Happy Friday, everyone. We made it through the end of the week and we can get ready for the weekend. This week, four games were inducted into the World Video Game Hall of Fame, another big sale for the Nintendo Switch, Mario Kart Tour is stirring up a little bit of trouble, and Nintendo is just printing money for the last few years, and their future is looking bright. Switch Sports is out, so you know what that means. It's actually... Wear your straps, people. It's sad to see another display bite the dust. It's a big sale for Nintendo's eShop this week for Japan's Golden Week. It will last until May 11th. Most of the sales are from Japanese publishers. Some big sales for Golden Week include Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, Final Fantasy 7, 9, 10, and 12, and Trials of Mana. If you're a big Japanese RPG fan, this is the sale for you. There's been some major news that comes out this week about Nintendo and the work culture. I'll make a video focusing on the allegations on Nintendo. I'll be posting that video in the next few days. There were four games let into the Hall of Fame. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time has been inducted into the World Video Game Hall of Fame. Now I remember when this game came out. I was only five years old and watched my older brother play through the entire game. He even had that huge game manual that helped him guide him through the game. And it wasn't until years later that I played the game for myself. There are a lot of great memories, and I'm glad that it made it into the Hall of Fame. The three other games were Miss Pac-Man, Dance Dance Revolution, and Sid Meier's Civilization 4. There's a new Mario Strikers trailer that shows more gameplay and the video is over 4 minutes long. The only problem is that it's in Japanese and there's no English subtitles. I still recommend watching it because you get a good look on how the game will play. Mario Kart Tour is seeing some complaints with this new Coconut Mall track. On Twitter, Mario Kart Tour fans are complaining that the cars are moving at the end of the race. They're complaining that the Mario Kart 8 version has the cars being stationary at the end of the race. I went over some footage from my stream and I can confirm that the Mario Kart Booster Pack Coconut Mall track has the cars staying stationary. I really don't see this being a huge deal. The track would be a little harder on Mario Kart 8 if they did move, but I'm still happy with the track. And I'd be happy either way if they decide to have the cars start moving or keep them stationary. Nintendo is forecasting another 20 million Switch sales for the current fiscal year, which is down 10% from last year. I mean, that's still a lot of Switches. The revised forecast is primarily due to semiconductor shortages and disruption of logistical networks. Nikai Asia reports that 30% drop from the 2020 fiscal year when the Switch sold 28 million units, although the Switch still is having solid demand even though it's six years old. Look, Nintendo is still happy selling 20 million Switches and all the software sales that come with it. They will still have a great 2022. Nintendo's mobile revenue is reaching $1.8 billion in revenue. Fire Emblem Heroes has a staggering lead over every mobile game at $983 million. Animal Crossing and Mario Kart Tour are very close, bringing in $270 million each. And after that, it really begins to separate from the others. Now, Dr. Mario was the only mobile game that I really got into and it's only made them $14 million, rip the dream. The biggest surprise is the download rates for both Mario games, which they dwarf the rest of the competition. Both Mario games together hold 84% of the downloads from this chart. And I can't believe that Fire Emblem Heroes makes $983 million with only 18 million downloads. We can see why Fire Emblem Heroes has a more traditional gacha mechanic pay structure. And I don't really see that changing for the future for Nintendo mobile games. They are making way too much money. I personally don't support the gacha mechanic for mobile games, but that's just the culture, which is why I stay away from the mobile games altogether. Hey, if you missed out on Nintendo teasing a new Nintendo Switch for Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, check out my video right here. And I stream on Twitch every Wednesday, so feel free to come by and ask questions about Nintendo. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.